If you want to brush up on your driving skills, there are plenty of performance driving schools to choose from, but there's one that does things just a little bit differently from everybody else. <laughs> At the Porsche Sport Driving School, not only can you borrow Porsche's car, but you can take your own 911, so you can really learn how to hustle your own car around. At the end of your course, you also get an internationally recognised Porsche driving qualification. There are three levels to choose from, Precision, Performance and Master. So we're here to give Precision a go, see exactly what the course has to offer. After a short briefing, I was introduced to my instructor. We were to sample all aspects of the Porsche Experience Centre as well as get some time on the legendary Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. First up though, we went around the handling circuit to see just how good I was on track. Every corner has a different approach, a different viewpoint, hence the vision, yep. um, and a different sort of balance that we need to try and achieve for the car. So the old adage of slow in, fast out yeah. is true in any car, but especially in this. The 911, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. I can see you're nice and smooth behind the wheel, which always helps. That's absolute key. You can have someone who may be fairly quick, and we've all seen this having watched, you know, some Grand Prix at weekends. You can see people who are quick, but if they overdrive the car, yeah. then the car starts to go off and they start to uh, go slower and slower and fall back into the pack. Yeah. Now, your turn in here is a little bit early, so you've made, made this corner into two. You've turned once, yeah. you've taken the lock off, and then you've turned again. Yeah. So you've loaded the car, unloaded, and loaded. So actually, you sort of upset the balance of the car slightly. So, what we'll try and do is make that one continuous lock all oh, the way okay. through. If you hang on to the brakes for too long and too stop. heavy, <laughs> A you'll stop, but B you can actually shift too much weight to the nose uh, and of course you unload the rear axle yep. and bearing in mind where the engine is in the 911 you then lift that heavy engine up and it rolls as you yeah. turn in so you cause an oversteer. The kick plate is as described, this plate that you drive over mm. that will kick the back of the car sideways, yeah. putting you into a sudden oversteer type situation yep. onto not just any old surface, nope. <laughs> but a surface that has a grip level of melting sheet ice. Brilliant. 18, 18, oh god, 19, and oh god. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're going to have to go a bit faster this time. Yeah, so as we said on the circuit vision, so important. If you're looking in the direction you want the car to go, it's mm -hmm. the same as if you're on a roundabout and you suddenly start to slide. If you just look in the direction the car is sliding, you'll end up going that way and you'll end up sliding into the kerb or the car, whatever it might be. If you look in the direction you want the car to go, i.e. the exit of the roundabout, yep. for example, mm -hmm. or the exit of the hairpin corner that you're unfortunately sliding through, yeah. then of course you're more likely to go in that direction. There are three things with steering, and your steering was really quick, which was great, and you steered the right way and you steered by the right amount. They're the three things. If you're literally looking at the bonnet here and the car starts to pivot around that point it's very difficult to feel what's going on behind you to feel the back yeah. of the car moving whereas if you're looking ahead you imagine a much longer wheelbase car mm. that swing now is much slower it's much more gradual yeah. the movement of the car and you've just got that extra half a second to understand what's going on and to process the information yeah. and therefore your reaction is much better look ahead look ahead look ahead and stick quickly there we go so much easier well done now keep the power on keep the power on Alex keep the power on play with the car make it move around and then put a little bit of steering on as well lovely hey had a go we've had a go with the traction on now it's time for traction off okay let's see what the difference everything makes You get points for that in some other uh, competitions, like skating on ice or something yeah. like that. I kept trying my hand at it and span. Lots. It was very entertaining and it also served the purpose of showing off just how good Porsche's safety systems are. After my pirouettes on ice, we headed up to the ice hill. It's a low friction surface designed to simulate nasty winter conditions and show the difficulty a driver can face in changing direction quickly. We don't want to go for a quick swerve, as I said, because the front wheels, as you turn, will yeah. start to understeer. So we want a gentle turn in, pit, then pick up the throttle to bring the back round. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and along the bottom here. That was far too much fun. Always keep looking where you want the car to go. Good speed. Turn about now. Speed the power and make the car slide. The second slide's going to be much bigger. Get the lock on, lock on, lock on, lock on, lock on. See how much quicker we need to get the lock on. Otherwise, brake. Oh, well 
Um, does not feel nice. That's okay. Reaction speed, reaction speed. Direction, perfect. The amount was perfect. Speed, speed, speed. Get ahead of the slide with your steering. Sometimes people say, Ben, how quickly and how much steering do I need? And the answer is always as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Okay. Because if it's too much, you can always take it off. Mm. And you'll feel that. And you will, because you've got some feel. So you'll feel that, oh, that's too much. I can take the lock off. Great. But if you never put enough on, you'll never catch the slide. Yeah. So always put everything on and then go from there. Right. Let's have okay. a go with everything turned well, off. See how good you are now, then, oh, shall we? No. We're just going to have to make up for the difference that uh, the PSM has been making. Right. So you need to be super ninja. Turn. That's it. The throttle might be a little bit too much. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> oh, we've lost the mic. Oh, we lost the mic. I ended up spending a lot of my time looking in lots of directions all at once. Then we ventured off to Porsche's low friction circuit. It's covered in polished tarmac designed to be extra slippery and simulate the feeling you get when you're driving on freshly fallen snow. Let's start on the circle. Okay. Um, and we can just have a little look at understeer and oversteer and just find out where the level of grip is. What's causing the slide, of course, is that extra throttle application. Yeah. So often just taking away the cause yeah. helps you catch the slide. So we'll have a little play with that. And what happens if you turn everything off? It's all off. It's all off. So, I think we know what's coming. Yeah. Three, two, two one. Okay. <laughs> Clever PSM, you just saved my ass lots of times. Yeah, yeah. Having tried all aspects of the Experience Center, we ventured out onto the Grand Prix circuit. It was absolutely incredible. Just a couple of weeks before, F1 heroes had been giving this track their all, and now I, little old me, was doing just the same in a brand spanking new 911. And after a while, I was just about getting the hang of it. Sadly though, the day was drawing to a close. It's been an absolutely brilliant day. I've learned a lot and I've, I've appeared to have parked my very muddied, that once yes. was clean, black 911 in front of your lovely selection of crisp white cars. But I have to ask, how did it do? Genuinely, really good, well done. It's the confidence, isn't it? You can go away from today just feeling that much more confident in that car, mm. the car that you've been spending the day in. So. Yeah. After a final shakedown chat on the handling circuit, I was given a little bit of a present. A go in a 997 GT3 RS, the very same car that put in the record-breaking 7 minute 33 second lap time at the Nürburgring. It was awesome. So that was the Porsche Sport Driving School, and I gotta say, what an incredible day. I mean, the sheer variety of activities we did, actually, they really helped me become a more confident driver. The Porsche Sport Driving School isn't cheap. It's around a thousand pounds a day, but included in that is one-on-one bespoke instruction and an hour on the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. You also get something that money really can't buy, confidence. I left Silverstone that day with more confidence behind the wheel than I'd ever had. That kind of confidence is worth ten times the price. <laughs>